Okay, we're going to look at finding the missing angle um, when given two different angles. Now, these are the angles that the students should know and, and how much they are. So, the first angle is a right angle, and usually you'll see this with a little box in the corner, and that signifies that a right angle makes a square corner. And so they know that a right angle measures 90 degrees. The other angle that they know is a straight angle. And we have our vertex. And this is 0 degrees. And this would be 180 degrees. So they know an angle that opens up all the way is 180 degrees. So with those two angles, um, what we've been working on now is finding a missing angle. So let me erase that real quick and just give you an example of what they're doing. We're going to work on finding the measure of an angle with a protractor next. So right now they're just using <coughs> Um, using what they know about angles to find the measure. So if I have a 90 degree angle and the kids know that angles are two rays that share a common endpoint or they could be two line segments that share a common endpoint. So here's my right angle okay and the other thing I'm gonna draw is another acute angle sharing the same vertex so I'm just gonna draw that with a dotted line. And so if I told you that the measure of this angle is 15 degrees, I want the students to tell me what the measure of this angle is. And so they should be able to tell you that the total angle is 90 degrees. And if we take the 15 degree angle away from 90 degrees, we should find our missing angle. The other thing that they're asked to do is write an equation. So let's just say this is angle, angle A. So we would say the equation to find the missing angle would be 90 minus 15 and actually we'll use degrees. So 90 degrees minus 15 degrees equals angle A. So that's how they would write it in an equation. So I subtract 90 minus 15 so I need to regroup and 10 minus 5 is 5 and nine, uh, this is 8. 8 minus 1 is 7 so that means that angle A equals 75 degrees. And so this answer should make sense because um, first of all <clears throat> if they look at the number 75 this angle, this space here should look bigger than this space here. And so I know that 75 is bigger than 15 and so this answer does make sense. Also 75 degrees is an acute angle which they learned is less than 90 degrees. This angle looks acute so it should make sense. 15 also looks acute. So that's one example. The other example that they're going to see is using a 180 degree angle and let me just um, blank this out again and so let's see if I'm going to draw 180 degrees so here's my straight angle here's a point, here's a point here's a point and I'm just going to draw an angle here and so if I know that this angle is 40 degrees 
I need to know what is angle, we'll say B for this one, and that's going to be from there to there. So my kids should know that 180 degrees makes up a straight angle, so the total angle is 180 degrees minus 40 degrees, and that will give me angle B. So, 0 minus 0 is 0, 8 minus 4 is 4, and 1 minus nothing is 1, and so I know that angle B equals 140 degrees, and that makes sense because 140 degrees is an obtuse angle. This angle opens up larger than 90 degrees. A 90 degree angle would be right here. So I know that my answer should make sense. Okay, And so this is how we would find a missing angle. So hopefully this will help with any homework that comes home.